Um, I like a lot of things about festivals. I mean, I, I, I really just like getting to spend time with people that I wouldn't normally meet. I like European festivals because I get to actually spend time with people who come to the show and have conversations with them and see, you know, what they're kind of what they're into, what they're listening to. Yeah, it's cool to connect because people are nice in Europe. Like people in people in, in, in the UK aren't as nice. They're not. They're they're cool, but they're not friendly. Like you can't just go up to someone in the UK and be like, "Yo, let's chat," because they don't want to chat. But over here in Europe, you can you can kind of get a conversation going without much stress, you know, without having to having to prove that you're not a weirdo or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we came by train. Um, yeah, we came by train from Brussels. It was long, but good because I don't, we don't always. We just travel by train this time because it was like a lot cheaper. So. And it's nice. I mean, sometimes flying is a bit grueling. We've been flying a lot. We've, we, I, I've just come back from Mexico, and that was a long flight. It was good, but it's a long flight, and so we just were kind of sick of the tra sick of the planes, and wanted to hop on a nice little train, cruise, easy, safe on the ground. I mean, for, for stuff for festivals, it's such a light touch. It's me, my DJ, so it's easy. There's no there's no stress. But um, we do we do have a tour bus um, for like touring for big tours, which is big. Um, and cool, yeah, it's weird actually. It's like all everything I ever dreamed of. It's a big, big bus. It looks like a like a big um, like London double decker. At the moment my stress is I don't know, just that the world, there's people in the world who are who don't have the best interests of the rest of the world at heart. Like there's you know, there's idiots in power. But I mean, I mean, as much as that is a big stress for me, you know, guys like Trump and and Brexit and and whatnot. I mean, I, you know, I try my best not to just focus on that because it's not, you know, I've, I've said my piece. I voted when I had to vote. You know, I've done everything I can do. You know what? Not much makes me angry anymore. There's really not much to be. I mean, there's not too much to be angry about. I mean, what makes me angry is people who are ignorant or people who are disrespectful or rude or you know don't appreciate other cultures other whatever beliefs you know um, but yeah not much I don't get angry that much anymore I used to get really angry and now I just don't care because getting angry the only person who suffers when you get angry is yourself but I spent my time for a long time feeling really angry at the world and it did nothing changed I mean I was angry at the world and nothing was happening except for me being angry then I started being happier and everything else started being happier you know, it is what it is. Cause they were saying it on the lucky one. I, cause I was swaying with the chain. Trust, feeling the shame when the money comes. I, but I've been waiting here for days. Trust, and they would say when the others run. I, that she be waiting in the rain. I, look, I can't complain what the others done. Share, uh-uh, I'll be the lucky one. Yeah, yeah, I've got, yeah, ADHD, yeah, yeah, yeah. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Yeah. Uh, you know what, I, I don't really like labels, but I do think it helped me because um, being told I had ADHD um, meant that I understood myself better, you know, because I found out when I was really young and it made, it made a lot of things that I was doing make sense, you know, a lot of things teachers or friends, you know, were going, oh, you do this or you do that and other people don't do that. And then going, oh, it, you know, it made perfect sense to me. Um, but yeah, no, that's cool. I, I, you know, it kind of helped me understand myself from an early age, which then helped me figure out how to channel it properly. So I think ADHD is the best thing that could have happened to me. I learned to channel my ADHD um, through loads of different things. I think it was just, it was really just from just seeing what worked for me, what, what I enjoyed, playing sports, anything physical. Cooking was a big thing for me. Um, just, you know, just doing the things that I liked doing and I wanted to do and kept doing them instead of doing the things that I didn't enjoy. The things I didn't enjoy, I, I left. Like, ADHD, I, I think, is a positive thing. I, th I don't think there's, there are negative sides, but there are negative sides to anything. And if you look at the negative sides, then you're going to get caught up in it. But I mean, for me, it's, it's positive. It's a positive thing. Yeah, there's loads of positives. That's why I am here. I've been too busy getting dizzy, does that JB? She's been the places you can take me, cause I know, 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 Life is great. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's not comfortable, but it's, you know, it's like it's enough like to survive. I don't need to be like luxurious, you know, I get to look after my family, look after myself, don't go hungry. Yeah, 
got some nice trainers, so it's easy. My mum, my mum makes me really happy. My mum being happy makes me happy. <laughs> Family are so important to me because they're all I have. And like, they're that kind of, for me, the only thing that I like definitely set in stone that won't leave me or won't, you know, um, you know, will always be there for me. So they're very important. I don't know. It's just family is a very important thing to me. I when I was when I was younger and I was growing up, I used to watch a lot of like gangster films, um, you know, like Godfather and. Uh, I watch The Sopranos and stuff, and it's all about the idea of family, you know, and, and I, I'm something I never had, I've got a very small family, and I appreciate everyone in it, because I've lost a lot of my family, so the ones I still have left, I hold very close. <laughs>